Hey, what is up guys, Jake here, and I had a whole webcam intro recorded, but I saved it in the wrong file type, so now I can't use it. But yeah, anyway, today we are going to be learning Blender, or I'm going to be learning Blender. But yeah, first thing we're going to do is something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. Damn, that actually feels good. <laughs> but yeah, over the weekend, I have been following the infamous Blender Donut tutorial to get me up to speed with uh, using Blender since I am switching over from Maya. So I've already done the donut before, not the entire tutorial to completion, but at least the modeling part and dabbled in the particle system, but I didn't take it to completion. And in this video, I just wanted to see if I was able to completely recreate what I've learned uh, with these tutorials tutorials and see if I can do it without even checking the tutorials. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I did is I created a torus and then in edit mode using proportional editing, which in Maya would be soft select, I just start to move the vertex around, uh, which just deforms the basic shape of the torus because obviously a donut is not a perfectly circular cylindrical torus shape. I don't know how you would call this. But yeah, I'm just creating some bumps, just roughing out the shape to make it seem more organic. Here I made the icing, so basically I just selected the face of the top half of the donut, duplicated it, and then made it its own object because, yeah, that's just how it works in Blender. And after that I used a solidify modifier to add some thickness since it was only a one-sided face. And on both of the objects, so the torus and the icing, I added a subsurface subdivide, I forgot what it was called, but basically it's uh, a smooth in Maya where it just adds a lot of divisions. And now I'm basically just extruding with the uh, smooth modifier to add the droplets. Now that I have the basic model of the donut done, I am applying the subdivision modifiers so that the donut is in high poly and I brought it into the sculpting mode where I'll be adding more texture and form to the icing and also adding a dent in the middle of the donut because that's a thing to just, you know, add more details, more realism. Now here I'm just adding some very basic shaders, so I'm just adding a base color and then changing the roughness value and adding a bit of subsurface to both of the icing and the donut. So nothing too complicated.
Now here I modeled a few cylinders with a slide arch and those are basically going to be used as sprinkles and I'm just modeling three of them because I'm going to be using the particle system to basically scatter them across the entire surface of the donut. And to control where they go, I use the weight painting and attach that to the par particle system to make sure that the sprinkles only appear where I want them to appear. Now after having all the particle systems set up, we just need to color the sprinkles. So to randomize the colors, basically uh, using the object info and color ramp nodes, you can assign various colors that'll be scattered across each individual sprinkle. It's honestly pretty simple to do. If you watch the tutorial, you'll see it only takes maybe two to three minutes to make. So now with everything modeled, the last thing we need to do is obviously render the thing. So I basically added a plane, added a very desaturated pastel pink color to it. And for the lighting setup, it's really nothing. <laughs> I just used the default light and made it brighter and just positioned it so that it would look decent. And then I angled the camera to have my desired angle. So yeah, this is the finished result. I still have a very long way to go before I'm able to use Blender comfortably, but I am getting used to the program already. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a rush because I had to record and edit this thing entirely remotely because I'm at my parents for now and I don't have access to my computer apart from using a software that lets me control my computer from here. So yeah, it was a bit awkward to use, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.